Hi again everyone, Simon Keeling here and Sunday the 29th of July. Thanks again for watching. Uh, as always the sites get free of charge by the adverts that you see around the screen here and by you coming back to the site and visiting the site is what generates the revenue because we can put more adverts in front of you and that means that we get paid more and that means that the site can get free of charge. So thanks for doing that and please do tell your friends. Remember we're on Twitter and Facebook as well with frequent updates. So um, looks like unsettled conditions uh, during the course of this week with low pressure close by but not for everyone it looks like some parts of the country could get away with a mainly dry wheat particularly across southern and southeastern parts of england here's the chart for today low pressure is just off northeastern parts of scotland today we've got bits and pieces of cloud and some outbreaks of rain affecting western scotland one or two showers down western coast but you can see how inland most places are actually dry um yeah bits and pieces of showers that green really less than two millimeters of rain and really i think isolated showers this afternoon just trying to pick up on a few heavy showers developing later on this afternoon into this evening across east anglia and southern parts of england now i think look you see by this evening they could become quite heavy and thundery in this area and i wouldn't be surprised if one or two torrential downpours perhaps as much as 20 or 25 millimeters of rain for uh, one or two locations down towards um, parts of the home counties and also central parts of East Anglia particularly at risk. Thicker cloud and some rain for Western Scotland. Elsewhere I think sunny spells and it looks like <coughs> excuse me, some scattered showers. Overnight tonight, low pressure is still close by, and then through Monday we find low pressure is still there. I think one or two showers for Western Scotland, but many areas starting to start the day dry on Monday morning. It's this area of rain though out to the west of Ireland that we have to watch. As we go through the morning, that rain is going to be spreading its way eastwards, I think coming across Southern Ireland, perhaps into the far west of southwest England. Elsewhere, it should be largely dry with some bright spells. Yes, high cloud pouring in. And perhaps just one or two heavier showers getting going across the northwestern parts of England. One or two showers for western parts of Scotland as well, but elsewhere generally dry. And then through the course of the afternoon, this rain just leaches its way east across Southern Ireland, Southern Wales, southwest England, perhaps into central southern parts of England too. But many areas of England should be staying dry although there will be some showers affecting these eastern coasts some sunny spells as well for many heading into tuesday now and the rain will become more persistent as it heads its way northeastwards uh, during the course of tuesday and going up the coasts of ireland western parts of wales and heading into western scotland too so some pretty hefty bursts of rain affecting these western parts of the country during the course of Tuesday and becoming windy too. You can see the isobars there getting quite close together. Notice how dry it is across England and also across East Anglia, the east of Wales as well. This is where we could see some warm temperatures during Sunday after, uh, during Tuesday afternoon, getting up to uh, 23 or 24 degrees. And then through Wednesday, well, some rain across Scotland, some of that quite heavy, one or two showers across western coasts of Wales and England. Heavier showers through Ireland, but for many parts of central and eastern England, look, it should be generally dry. There'll be one or two showers around, but it looks like being a dry and a fair end to the day. I think temperatures could get 25 degrees in East Anglia and South East England. More persistent rain coming into western coasts of Wales, South West England, western parts of Scotland as well in the afternoon, with some very heavy showers across Ireland. And then as we head in towards Thursday, well, low pressure is going to be close by again through Ireland. I think what we'll find is that uh, there'll be some strong winds and some very heavy showers and longer spells of rain coming through Ireland. One or two showers across western coasts of Scotland, western coasts of Wales and western coasts of England, but central and eastern parts of the country as well as Scotland should be in for a mainly dry day. Into Friday, the low slips back north to be close to western Scotland. There'll be a mix of sunshine and also showers. One or two of the showers are going to be heavy at times, longer spells of rain potentially somewhere across southern Ireland, northwest England, but for many central and eastern areas, we'll find sunny spells. And again, it should be largely dry. And then heading into Saturday, so we find uh, the low pressure across Scotland again. That brings sunny spells and heavy showers to Scotland and Ireland. I think elsewhere, the showers tending to be lighter with some sunny spells around, although some heavy showers could affect the far southwest of England. And then into Sunday, well on Sunday we're going to find the area of low pressure is still with us, slipping into the North Sea. Hints of a slight rise coming in out to the west, but I think generally we're looking at sunny spells and some fairly hefty showers through the course of the day. 
So what happens after that? Well, this is how things um, shape up as far as the ECMWF model is concerned. Um, these are the charts going up in 24 hour steps and it looks like the ECMWF has got this about right at the moment. That's midnight tonight and there we are going into Tuesday. This is midnight Wednesday and here's that low look coming in as we head in towards Thursday and into Friday. The low really dominating things there. Looks like the low is still with us into Saturday and into Sunday as well. So I think these conditions are going to be staying fairly unsettled as we head in towards the beginning part of next week with the trough edging its way slowly eastwards. Now, look, this is um, the 7th of August. So uh, this is taking us forward to Tuesday the 7th. And look at the ridge of high pressure building in. Now, that brings us a fair day during that Tuesday, but it's more a case of what it's hinting at because as that moves through another trough will come into the west and it looks as if that one that comes in could develop another area of low pressure this has the potential to bring some pretty heavy rain for Scotland, Northern England, Ireland, perhaps as far south as Wales and central southern England that then clears east and I think that this out here in the Atlantic, this ridge that's building in here is the start of the ridge of better weather that I've been hinting at for the middle to the end part of August so there are some hopes there that uh, things are starting to uh, to actually improve and just finally to leave you with this this is the cfs temperature chart running through to the 11th of september those of you on twitter and facebook will know uh, what have already seen this um, but what we want to look at is the red here this red line that follows here these are maximum temperatures and you'll notice how the temperatures pick up quite nicely but look they we intersperse with these cooler spells but generally a warmer trend during this second half of August and I think that's the way that things are going to be going. Okay, I'll leave it with you with you with that for now. But once again thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.